API Sprawl is being called the new Shadow IT. But is that actually true or is it just a catchy headline? Hey there, my name is Christopher Sandoval. I'm a product marketing and developer relations expert, and I'm here to make your product and your marketing just a little bit better. Today, we're going to unpack what API Sprawl is, why it's exploding the age of AI, and most importantly, what it means for cybersecurity. Spoiler, if you think that your org is immune, you're probably wrong. Before we talk about APIs spreading out like digital kudzu, let's set the stage with Shadow IT. At its core, Shadow IT is when employees use software or tools without explicit approval. Think of it like the IT equivalent of sneaking snacks into a movie theater. It's mostly harmless, but in some rare cases, it can cause some pretty serious issues. Some examples of this problem are pretty innocuous. A worker uploads screenshots on Google Drive of a new UI that they're building so that they can show a colleague. An employee that is frustrated in a chat support window might copy that conversation over and say, hey, can you make my reply a little bit more positive? But there are also obviously bad examples. Secretly using a phone to log into a production resource so that you can do work over the weekend bringing home a work laptop with copied data from the main server so that you can complete a big report, bringing personal devices and connecting them to the network without explicit permissions or controls. The problem with Shadow IT is that it has this sheen of mom and dad telling you not to hang out with the cool kids. But in reality, it's more like the guards at the gate saying, please, please close the gates, there's bad guys out there. It has some pretty significant potential risks, but maybe the biggest problem is that IT just has absolutely no idea what's happening with their employees, their devices, or their data. So that's shadow IT. But what the heck is API sprawl? This is when APIs multiply over an organization without any real coordination or oversight. It starts small and then suddenly your architecture looks less like a well-designed city and more like a back alley wired with extension cables from the 90s. One day you approve a new endpoint and then all of a sudden you have hundreds of new endpoints. You might have a full on ecosystem that you're not even aware of until you discover it. You've got one team using endpoints without any documentation at all. Another team using their own APIs that for some reason copy the exact same thing that your regular APIs do. And wait, is sales using an internal endpoint to feed their live customer dashboards? Ultimately, this results in a tangled web of poor documentation, no monitoring, dangerous redundancies, orphan endpoints, and a network admin that's 32 but looks 97. So is API Sprawl the new Shadow IT? Honestly, yeah, and the data sort of backs it up. A study by Traceable found that 48% of organizations said that uncontrolled API sprawl was a significant problem. Postman had another study where 31% of the respondents said that there's just too many dang endpoints. And unfortunately, that problem isn't really going anywhere. A study backed by F5 found that by 2031, there's going to be 1 billion services all with their own APIs and endpoints. And that statement alone probably just gave all the CTOs watching this a heart attack. At this point, APIs are reproducing faster than Slack channels. And like those abandoned Slack channels, people don't even know they usually exist until someone comes in and uses it five years down the road. Way to go, Steve. So the question is obvious, how do we mitigate all of this API sprawl? Well, luckily there are some best practices that you can implement to make this problem a little bit more manageable. So number one, establish a central API catalog. You can't manage what you can't see. Think of this like a library card catalog of your entire digital ecosystem. Number two, shift governance left. You need to bake governance into the workflows themselves instead of sort of tacking it on as an afterthought. Make sure that people aren't going rogue and if they are going rogue, that you can track what they're doing within the greater system. Number three, mandate API registration. Gateways give you control, visibility, and guardrails. Registration forces APIs to let the gateway know that they exist and allows you to control what they're doing within the system. So you should be using it pretty actively to enforce these policies long-term. Number four, automate discovery. Rogue APIs are like raccoons. If you don't go looking for them, the only way you're gonna know they're here is when you hear the trash cans banging at two in the morning. Make sure that APIs can't thrive in the shadows by removing that shadow. And finally, number five, enforce lifecycle policies. Every API should have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Otherwise, you're left with zombie endpoints that maybe some people are using and maybe some people aren't, and they're sort of just wandering your network indefinitely. While this won't reduce the outrageous number of APIs that are being created, it will reduce how many of them have endpoints so they're just straight up nonsense. So here's the bottom line. Yes, API Sprawl is the new Shadow IT. 
I hate that so many buzzwords came together to make a true statement, but there it is. And with AI causing an acceleration of how many APIs exist and how many endpoints are being created, the problem just isn't going away. The organizations that start managing their APIs today will be in far better shape than the ones that are trying to clean up the chaos after the fact tomorrow. If you want to read the entire article that I wrote about this subject, then you can head over to Nordic APIs using the link in the description for this video. If you found this breakdown useful, please like, comment, and subscribe. You can find me over at Instagram, at LinkedIn, here on YouTube, or over on my Twitter. Thanks for watching.